Hello guys, today I'd like to share with you a, a small trick I discovered about the uh, Littmann Classic 3 stethoscope uh, because that's my new stethoscope that I mm, that I bought today it was delivered to me today and uh, after the first general check of my uh, of my new product I uh, I, I was uh, for, at first I was very satisfied with the sound quality and and transmission. But then I um, then I experienced a huge disappointment. Um, at least it seemed that way because you know guys I I'm uh, really I'm really used to um, that kind of bell uh, at the back side of of, of, of the chest piece uh, which is which is open that a normal open bell and uh, I quickly noticed that this um, this Littmann stethoscope uh, has diaphragms on both sides and so it's it, on one side we have the uh, big uh, the big uh, diaphragm versatile diaphragm and the smaller one is for auscultating children so it's just the smaller version of that uh, big one in front and I, I wanted to get the normal bell with with, with a hole in it, and uh, the instruction manual said that it is easy to to be done by just pinching the rim of this the the gum rim of this diaphragm and just peeling it off. And so said the YouTube videos, the official Litman YouTube videos that I saw, but um, uh, none of those methods worked for me actually and they said in the official video that it's better to use a a, a nitrile uh, glove and I tried that too but that didn't help me uh, to that didn't help me to solve my problem I even uh, contacted the the official um, uh, customer service chat room on on their website and and they couldn't solve my uh, problem either so I like to show with you a method and a solution for that problem that actually uh, my dad um, uh, came up with, and uh, for that, actually, uh, the, the the trick is to uh, to try to avoid um, uh, damaging uh, the, those precious parts of the stethoscope. So, uh, so uh, it's it's in the way you hold it because it's. It's not that easy when when they say to pinch it. I, I didn't know where should I put my fingers or should I pinch it from the bottom, uh, from the bottom or, or or just on the top of that. I was afraid to damage the diaphragm. So all you have to do is um, hold the chest piece that way that you provide a, a firm um, uh, a firm support for that. Um, part where where the tube starts, where the tube begins, and, and with this side of your hand, um, of your index finger, you you, you provide the, the support for that part, and you hold uh, the whole chest piece firmly in in your uh, fingers. And then you use your thumb to uh, to, to kind of push it up, to push the diaphragm up, but now it uh, I'm only talking about the way to hold it but um, it's not that easy either so probably you will have to use the glove but you don't even have to uh, wear it as they say in the official video just holding it that way you, you try to do it with the glove so so using your thumb you press it up and that way Oh, and here we are. If you you're able to just peel off a part of it, then the rest will go off easily, like this. So uh, the clue is, and the trick is, uh, to hold it in the air, n not try to, to to put the chest piece on it uh, on the table or something, cause, because I I would be afraid to damage the the, the diaphragm. Uh, the bottom diaphragm, so just hold it firmly in the air and use your thumb 
um, possibly with the glove to just push it up and then peel it off. Thank you for watching.